Hey, I'm Will. I'm going to be building a guitar over Christmas and for some reason I thought I would do some videos about it uh, being put together and put them online uh, in a desperate search for relevance. Um, in this video I thought I'd talk about why I'm doing this and one of the reasons is this guitar next to me. Uh, this was made, as you can see on there, there's no uh, brand mark on it. Uh, I kind of wish there was because it was made by my old uh, guitar teacher Fred Overton who did an amazing job on it. Um, he sometimes puts Overton uh, logo on there. I decided because I was a difficult teenager, I didn't want anything on there, um, so I could call it Strata Blanca. But um, I kind of wish I had because he uh, did an amazing job on it, and I just kind of like people to know it's his work. Um, but he built this guitar for me out of parts, and when I was thinking about getting a Telecaster, I just thought, why not make one and uh, try and learn something, and also end up with an instrument that is uh, uniquely my own. Um, and as I say, Fred did a great, great job on this guitar. Um, it's a really, really nice, you can see there, Bird's Eye Maple Neck, which was originally um, unfinished and it's been uh, built up with a nice lacquer just from me playing it over and over. Um, it's a really versatile guitar. This is my main guitar, I guess, um, for most of the last 10 years. Uh, I played it within rock bands. Uh, when I was at uh, school, I played a lot of jazz with it. Um, and it's been a really, really great guitar. I don't think I've really touched the setup um, since uh, he handed it over to me, and it's always played fantastic. Um, I got in there uh, two American standard uh, single coils in the neck and middle. Uh, that neck pickup is incredible, and I've got to use that more and more as the years go on. And um, because when I got this when I was 18, uh, I thought, yeah, I need a, a humbucker in the bridge, and that's a nice single Duncan Purdy Gates, I think, uh, with nice coil tap uh, for single coil sounds as well. So that's really nice. Um, this came off. And actually, I've just realised that I've got a new one in uh, some of the stuff that came today, so I can put that on there. Um, the bridge there is actually quite rusted because I'm, if you can see that there, or just see the reflection of this video, weird. Um, because I am a very sweating man, uh, and that is apparently a very corrosive sweat as well. So maybe once I get a bit more used to uh, building and maintaining the guitar, I'll start to uh, do that. But that, uh, this is a really, really great instrument and it's, I've been really pleased that it's uniquely mine and so I thought I would um, do the same with the Telecaster. Um, as you see from it, I'm trying to base it on um, sort of Springsteen's Telecaster, which is originally, uh, I believe, an Esquire or a Telecaster with an Esquire neck or something like that. Um, so it's, it's mostly that butterscotch blonde look, um, not doing that exactly for your accuracy, but I'm kind of using that as a bass line. Um, this is you know, slightly different, not quite a classic um, Stratocaster, so I think it'd be a nice contrast. Um, and I will put a few more of these up to say uh, how I'm getting on with it. Uh, as I say, most of the stuff's come now, and I'll be uh, beginning to put it together, I guess, in the next couple of weeks. So uh, I'll be putting more of these up, and hopefully you uh, keep watching them. For Why would you do that?